Another bumper day's cricket saw Mark Stoneman confirm his biggest ever score before Ryan Tenderskater came to the rescue. After ending the opening day's play in Guildford on 353 for five, Surrey would have felt confident about trying to bat Essex out of the match. The host resumed with opener Mark Stoneman still there on 181 not out, and Sam Curran, who had at 54 before the close of play on Friday. Just three overs had been bowled when Curran was on his way back to the dressing room, though. Neil Wagner with an early breakthrough. New batsman Gareth Batty scored 13 before he was caught by the substitute off the bowling of Ravi Bapara. And Stoneman had already made a career best score when he moved to 188 not out. However, minutes later, he'd be left to rue a missed opportunity to make a double hundred. He was out on 197, trying to drive Wagner, but only found the hands of slip. Surrey ate down for 396 at this stage, but Jamie Porter didn't take long to clean up the tail. First Rampal, and then Footick gone in quick succession. Surrey all out for 399, and although at first look a very good score, Surrey would be kicking themselves for losing their last five wickets for less than 50 runs. No fifth batting point for them, Stoneman's brilliant knock making almost half of the team's runs. Essex began their reply with Alistair Cook looking strong at the crease. He and partner Nick Brown looked to be laying solid foundations, but just as the lunch break approached, Cook was out for 31. The former England captain sent back by Sam Curran and Essex were 55 for one. When play resumed, Tom Wesley would be the new man in the middle, but after hitting a flurry of boundaries, he was out caught folks bold footed for 23. With Essex moving well and on to 121, Brown would have been disappointed to follow Wesley back. He'd been looking good to make 50 before off-spinner Batty trapped him in front. Gone for 43. Three down would be four with the score on 134. Dan Lawrence's knock was sweet but very short. A six and two fours and he was Batty's second victim of the afternoon. Ryan Tenderskater and Ravi Bapara both got good starts and managed to see Essex to tee on 189 for four. Immediately after tee, there was nothing that particularly unsettled the Essex batters, with more runs added and Tender Scarter making his half century from 73 balls. Bapara also made it to 50, and the partnership between the two experienced men reached 100. The pair managed to avoid the follow on, but Bapara would be out for 64 when he was given LBW off the bowling of Stuart Meeker. 254 for five. Now there were plenty of overs left in the day, and as well as runs, wickets continued to be added to the scoreboard. James Foster was out for 12 when he edged a foot at delivery behind. And with the score now past 300, Simon Harmer followed him back, also dismissed by Footit. The one consistent presence was Tender Scarter. His first century of the championship season came off 120 balls, including 17 boundaries. Despite Surrey taking the new ball, he survived to stumps on 120 not out, with Neil Wagner unbeaten on 20. Essex end Saturday on 367 for seven and begin day three trailing by just 32 runs with three first innings wickets still remaining.